We're back to building the new studio. I cleared out this area where the table is going to go last night. I didn't tape it because it just wasn't really interesting. The next thing we need to do is take this off. I want to take it off to at least to here. And the reasoning for that is because I believe there's wiring behind here. And so I don't want to start screwing things in and hit wires because it looks like Huh. Well, that's really reassuring. It looks like there are two pieces of wood here. Ah, the telephone. It's a scam call. But I answered it anyways, even though I didn't recognize the number because you never know it could be an emergency. Okay, anyways, um... So this has got to come off, I don't know what I was saying, but you can see the, the wiring comes down here. Grand, this is, this is BX, so it's not like anything's going to really happen to it if you a screw hit it, but um, the other reason is if I want to mount, well, I do want to mount a pegboard up, and I don't want the pegboard secured to the bench because it gets all wobbly. I want it secured to the beam, so this really just needs to come off of here. So, we're going to take this down. I'm not really sure how. We'll get it down. I'm going to remove this smoke detector for now because um, this is going to be really messy. And it'll probably create a lot of dust. So, there's no point in having this over there during this production. So, let's go get some tools. Uh, we're going to need... I don't know, maybe a hammer? <laughs> I'm really not sure. I'm not sure what the best attack is going to be. Uh, maybe I'll just bring the whole thing in, because I don't know what to expect. I think I have a saw here. Not that saw. I had, whoops. I had a saw. Here it is. Okay, so we gotta cut something, which you probably will. What does that sound? Some awful high frequency sound. Hmm. I'll just bring the whole thing in. Not sure if we're gonna need the drill or not. I think there are some screws, so we probably will. So I'll take this. And I'll take this. Actually, the Verticam drill may be useful here. Oh, it'll be so nice to have a proper tool set up once again. tool batteries I believe are upstairs I really wish I had done this before stuff was in here but whatever this will get dusty but it's not really a big deal All that stuff is sealed in boxes just turn this one around and it's it's a matter of vacuuming the dust off. That's no big deal. Everything here I'm pretty sure is all sealed up from the factory still anyways. That's kind of scary. I know it's not really a problem, but it's just it's unsettling to look through the stairs and see the floor below. Here's one tool battery. 
that should be enough but I would like to know where the other one is all right so there are screws on here so let's start with removing the visible screw let's start with removing the visible screws I'm not sure how long this metal piece is quite hopefully it goes to there but quite possibly it just runs the whole length uh, you can kind of see I think maybe it goes to here because it's split here I don't know um, but this is what we're looking at it looks like one piece of drywall on the bottom and then one on the side and then like a really thick layer of something I don't know what that is that's kind of weird Probably a lot of screws that I can't see because they're covered up with putty or whatever that stuff is. I don't know. Looks like a drywall anchor is right there. Eventually this uh, drop ceiling has to get taken down as well because it just doesn't serve any purpose. I do eventually want to put a drop ceiling in here, but I want to have a brown one. And this is all dilapidated anyways. I'm not sure it's worth the uh, time to salvage. And plus it's missing parts. It's missing the whole thing along here. So I, I don't think it's worth anything really. All right. Um... I'm really not sure how to begin this. Let's take a look at what we got behind here. Yep, so there is wiring. Uh, there's a stupid coax wire that I have no use for and will take out. Looks like it runs the whole length. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of a really thick plaster or spackle or something. That's kind of odd. And there's our BX cable up at the top. There's at least two of them. I'm not so much concerned about taking this this off, although it also serves no purpose. I'm not too concerned about it because the removal of that at any time is easy and clean. This is what I don't want to deal with down the road because this is messy.
all these screws are rusted, so they're all just scrap. And that one's all bent. I don't want to make a mess too much into this area because this stuff is not protected. So, let's see. I hope that this, there's a break in this metal piece because I don't have any tin snips here. So I don't think I do. Oh, beautiful. There's a break right there. That's perfect. I guess it's solid under there now. Yeah, it is. That's kind of an odd way to have done this. At least to me, it seems odd. Uh, I guess they did that because of the wires that was on the beam. that is I sure hope that's not mold. I have to just wash it just in case it is. Yeah see look at this there's like a layer of something 
very thick that was over the sheetrock. This can't possibly be paint. It's way too thick. Now there's a dilemma with this column. The dilemma is that I believe there is a temporary jack under here, not a lolly column like over there. And so in order for this to be to code, it has to be encapsulated like this, uh, which is okay, but I certainly don't want bland, white, poorly taped drywall on there. So, um, that may have to be revisited at a later date, you know, and replaced with just wood or something, something nicer than, than what's there now. All right, we should have the same, the same build on this side, I would think. Maybe not. I mean, not have the space. There's some kind of wire there. That's not cool. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's the wire that I need. Nope. I don't see any other wires there, so... That should be it. Oh no, you should be wearing gloves. Nope. Your hands will never callous if you wear gloves. And then you always have to wear gloves. Any slicing through.
I'm gonna leave I'm gonna stop here because the uh, um, the bench isn't gonna go past here although I would like to get kind of a clean you know a cleaner thing than that maybe I can take that saw and cut through here a little bit making a flipping mess here holy mackerel Yeah, that's that's good like that. That looks much better. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Got a brand new door here. I don't want to get the door all screwed up. I should have moved my new door. Oh well. Oh, this wants to come off there. That's fine, too. Good enough. I would prefer a clean break, though. Let me cut it and see if I can slice it clean. Because it may look like this for a while. Now, well, let's try to cut it right here. Good. Good enough. All right. So that pretty much concludes the demo here. We'll remove the last couple of screws.
I don't really want this here. I mean, it doesn't really cause any harm, but I don't really want it there. That looks like it's nailed in, so I think that's going to take some more effort to get it off. At least the bottom one appears to be nailed in. The top one I don't think is nailed in. The top one looks like it's screwed in. Oh no. Shoot. Oh man. The heck did they put this into? You just have to live with it. That screw doesn't even feel that strong. Like it's in that fire. <clears throat> it's not even screwed to anything over there. No such luck. Sure is nice that this is all BX here, otherwise it'd be a pain to have to try to be careful of all these wires. Is one pesky piece. And now just because of this, I will not proceed with the project like that. Okay. It just ripped right out because the screw broke. <laughs> That's why it was hard to get out because it had rusted into the beam. Well, it's the permanently now. all like this oh no i can't get that screw out none of these are gonna budge they're just rusted out yeah they don't move either way Maybe that's a trick. Maybe we go in first to break the seal and then take it out. Oh, it bent. Are you flipping serious? Broke my daggone bet. Stupid jerk. Look at that. Now I won't have a complete set of bits anymore.
You stink. I can't believe that just happened. That's ridiculous that that transpired. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this is definitely nailed on. I'm not sure how easily that's gonna come off. We'll give it a shot, let's see. You know, I, I bought a, a power saw that would probably go through this and with a fraction of the effort. Might as well go grab it and use it. Although I will need to find the other tool battery. There's about as much debris in my shoe here as there is on the floor. Normally I keep all the lights on, but I turn them off because it's the funny Halloweens tonight. I don't need nobody coming over here. Uh, let's see, where's that other tool battery could be in the garage but this is the other tool that I bought and have not yet used well I feel like this is gonna go through the battery real quick which is why I don't want to use the I see it so I don't want to use the battery from the drill because I'm going to need the drill. This is the Ryobi 1 minus uh, 18 volt reciprocation saw. It may make this a little bit easier. There's always film, always plastic film. Really need to stop with the plastic film. Okay. Always plastic film. Ugh, too much film, always filming. Plastic film, video film, audio film, filming, filming, filming. Of course, the irony is that I'm filming right now, but that's beside the point. Okay, let's see how this works. Hmm. 
Seems like it's got a lot of power to it. Yeah, that'll make this much easier. Yeah, I'm glad I chose not to hang anything from this. This is not up here very strong at all. Which I figured uh, was the case. Um, I'm going to cut this coax cable at the end here so I can use it as a pull through for a phone line, but I otherwise have absolutely no use for it. This is a nice rubber insulated staple. I would save this if I can, but I'm not sure that screwdriver is not the one I wanted. Oh, the casing is broke. And there's no point in saving that anymore. That just broke. I think that's the 
nail that's supposed to be there. Now this is getting a little bit dangerous because there's nails sticking up everywhere. That's okay, dangerous is fun. I'm gonna have to leave the corner of this here because uh, the second piece anyways is holding that in so I'm gonna have to cut this here and leave some of it which isn't really a big deal Come on, jerk. Well, that one went a little bit further than I was hoping. I guess we'll leave it there. And nothing on this side to take out. So, uh, actually this, this can go. This wiring is, I don't know what the heck it's for and it's serving no purpose to me. Probably usable speaker wire, so I'll snip it and save it, but. It's uh, serving no purpose to me uh, in this application. All right, let's take these rest of the screws out of here. And then we gotta clean up because this is dangerous now. All these nails sticking out everywhere. Okay. One of the first things I did down in this basement when I bought this house was take out hundreds of these screws uh, from all along the beams. It's reminding me of that night. Good times. I need the verticam drill for this. Yep, 
think we're probably done with the sauce. So I'll just grab that and throw it in here. I'm not keeping any of this wood. I don't see the point. This is one of the best tools I've ever bought because it serves a purpose that like almost nothing else can and it just makes certain things so easy. I don't think that that nail should be there. Let's take that one out. All right, looks like that's it. All right, I think that's good for now. Um, eventually the rest of it should probably come down too, but it can come down at any time. So, all right, let's begin. Uh, well, I said let's begin to clean up, but let's do that for another video because I'm getting tired. And I have other things to do tonight. And it's getting late. So, demolition complete. On to the cleanup. <laughs> 